Turning now to our local events, it's the 11th annual Hunter Ice Festival in Niles, Michigan. Plenty of good times have already kicked off. There were the ice fights last night, but there is still plenty of fun in store for the entire weekend. Let's head to downtown Niles. That's where we find Lucy McCausland, one of the organizers. Lucy, good morning. Thanks for joining us. You guys have been going on, this has been going on for more than a decade. So what is going on this weekend that people should know about? Well, the Frigid 5K is getting ready to start, and um, actually our carvers are out here this morning already starting on their big pieces. And there are some massive pieces. I was just talking with you yesterday. There's a giant frozen statue, basically ice statue from uh, the movie Frozen, Elsa. There's also a big samurai, and there are also pieces of ice that your kids can actually play on. Yeah, we have a ping pong table and there's an ice slide and actually a ski ball. So much fun. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what the history of the Hunter Ice Fest is like. This actually uh, was created because of Niles history in particular. Yes, there was a family name of Hunter that lived in Niles and harvested ice off Barron Lake, which is just east of town. And they also made ice cream around 1900 and you guys serve ice cream at the festival and the cool part is that it's a recipe that was made just for the hunter ice fest yes the penn state came up with the recipe for us it was a recipe that was popular around 1910 when the hunter family was making ice cream and we own the recipe and it's only made for us and you can only get it during the hunter ice festival and I mean, what's your opinion on that ice cream? Is it pretty good? <laughs> it is. Re it is really good. <laughs> really good. Uh, so we, I see there's some carvers behind you. What uh, What are they doing right now? They're still carving the more than 100 ice carvings you're going to see in town. But is there a particular ice statue that he's making behind you? I believe he's doing an elephant behind me. Um, the carver who's doing Elsa has already started on that this morning, and um, and I believe some of the other bigger pieces have already been started. So you've got some great weather this weekend. Uh, 40 degrees sounds pretty good, but what does that mean for your for the ice sculptures? Well, it means that the ice will be melting, so um, people need to come out today to see the ice it'll be good for people um it, it'll be nice for ice cream so people need to come out today that sounds good okay you guys have a facebook page or a website so if people want more information where do they go they can go to uncoverniles.com and get the calendar of events for today and tomorrow awesome of course we'll link that on our website as well at wsbt.com lucy mccausland at the hunter ice festival thank you so much and stay warm